Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning August 31st, 2020. Can you believe August 31st? My goodness. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. I have courses over at Gumroad and thank you to everybody who supports me on Patreon. I leave all that information in the description box. And of course, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, please make sure that you are in fact subscribed, hit that notification bell, like the video, that helps out a ton. We have yet another, looks like very bad storm coming in. So if I freak out <laughs> because of loud thunder or whatever, you know what's going on. So let's get into this week. I do feel like, uh, it's more of the same kind of message, okay? So I'm just gonna warn you about that. It's more the same, uh, but there is, it's kind of funny that I'm wearing bees. <laughs> my earrings are bees, I have bees on my dress, um, because it is kind of like a busy bee kind of time. So there's a lot of prep. This feels like it's focusing on the individual again this week, where, or coming back to the individual, where we are busy catching up. We're busy getting ready, maybe for end of the year, stuff or I guess if you're a parent or a kid who's about to go back to school there could be some prep around that um, even if you're not physically going back to the classroom maybe there's some still you know whatever you have to do for that right <laughs> so there's that part and because there are a lot because they're saying different wavelengths so because there's so much going on out in the world so many things crashing down and cracking open and you know tears and you know all these kinds of things people are still getting focus which we have been asked to get focused and to hold it together like there's this kind of feeling of being very steady and learning to not get so pulled off track when something does occur does this make sense uh, we've been talking about that for a few weeks now, but there is there is kind of a vastness around this time where it feels like everyone's just kind of going in different directions. Now, this can go a toxic route where you numb out and you are like a zombie. You're just like, you, yeah, I'm too afraid to look at anything. Don't tell me anything about the news. Don't tell me about what, it, you know, you start going down that road or it can be, more of a, I've been taking care of myself, what's the deal? I take it in, but I don't uh, let it affect my energy. Does that make sense? And I work with other people to find a solution or we get a plan together, right? So there's a lot more about supportive people. Yeah, so there is something coming through about people finding their way to one another. Now, some of you are perking up and going, what about love? What about love? I did put a couple of timeless readings up uh, centered around love. So you can go find those on my channel. Uh, some people are worried about prosperity. I think this is going to, now hang with me. This would be one of those things that by the time this goes up, maybe the economy has crashed, God forbid. And everyone's like, what are you talking about? This is like not the most abundant time ever. Uh, it is, or can be, if you want it to be. Now, remember, abundance doesn't just have to do with money, but there is a payoff. There's a spiritual payoff for the things that we have endured. And it's interesting because I don't think any of us thought that that would be, <laughs> right? We just thought, well, this is how life is. You just got to keep rolling with it. But there's some sort of deep understanding that comes up where it's like, well, now, even though that was hard to go through, I'm glad we finally came out the other side. Okay, so it has that kind of feel about it. Um, glad that we know that now, glad that we are taking care of it. it. They're likening this to like someone getting a diagnosis. This, not that this is gonna happen on an individual level, but like it would be the kind of thing of somebody getting a diagnosis and that's a little like, whoa, but now you can find a treatment. Now you can start working on it and take care of it. And maybe you're catching it in time again i don't mean that literally for some of you maybe there could be something there but um in general it's just more we're happy to know that we can do something about this this is empowerment this is uh taking our power back 
but not in a rebellious way. And I want to make something abundantly clear. We can stand with individuals. We can stand with people who are getting hurt um, and stand beside them and make sure they know that they're loved and that they're worthy. But I know I do not get behind people who cause violence, who cause harm in the name of something. No, 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 no. Now you're doing something else. You're going down a different road. No, 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 no. You have a different agenda. See, and those, I don't know about y'all, but like, I don't, I don't go down that road. I support people who are peaceful. Uh, you can be passionate, <laughs> right? I know I'm a passionate person. You can get out there and say what you have to say, but um, we have choices to make. This is huge decision time, okay? This would be the time to figure out what approach you want to take. Do you want to keep getting angry about everything and arguing and trying to start fights? Are you wanting to control the narrative, sway the narrative, right? Doing things so that you look like a victim? Just so people will feel bad for you? Or do you want to take a different way? Do you want to see things for what they are and realize we don't have to take this anymore and we can take peaceful action steps to get things in order, okay? To go down a route that works better for everybody, right? And um, yeah, releasing chains. Like there's this feeling here of releasing chains and being freed, being freed through truth. And this is very Archangel Michael kind of energy. We have Archangel Gabriel energy in here as well. So this is being freed with the truth, not floundering and saying, oh, I'm such a victim, feel bad for me, somebody save me, somebody tell me everything's going to be okay, and going, you know, it's more going in the direction of, okay, now that we know this, what can we do? What do we want to do with this information? How do we want things to change? You know, when we all started having to stay at home, I used this example months ago, but when we all started having to stay at home, some of the people that I saw crying out going, this is so hard, this is so hard, are people who are used to getting a lot of attention. And then there were other people who have just had to fend for themselves because they can't get support or they, you know, they try to connect with other people, but they get used or they, you know, get chewed up and spit out, you know what I'm saying? And then they were maybe a little better equipped to handle a stay at home thing because they're used to it. But there were these people who are used to just having people fawn over them, having people to feed off of, whining and crying and being the victims. In the end, the ones that just, you know, keep it moving, they just process, they're not, you know, I, there's this big thing around victims. People who are in a victimhood mentality, they're gonna fall down. Now, please understand, let's clarify here. I'm not saying that if something actually happened to you to get over it. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about energy vampires. I'm talking about feeder souls that think that they are the only ones that exist, right? The, the people that have to just feed all the time. That's what I'm talking about. So there's going to be some destruction around that. Um, some enablers are going to start waking up a little bit and going, oh, 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 the whole time, you know, like, <laughs> right? like, am I, you know, I'm not gonna put up with this anymore. And some people who may have walked away from a person like that and everybody kind of ganged up on them, right? Because you have your enablers, you have the smear campaign, you have the whole thing. You might have some apologies coming your way. Now, please, let's not litter the comments with, nope, 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 I didn't get my apology. Listen, this is a general reading, okay? And I'm saying this is an energetic potential. Okay, that's all I'm saying, all right? So let's be careful with that because and the reason why I bring that up is when we get twisted in our mind about the expectation of what the outcome should be, you might miss something really beautiful that's happening because you, you're looking this way. You think it should look like X, Y, and Z when it looks like this over here. Make sense? Okay, so there's a busyness. There is an awakening. There is a... Uh, the ego, man, the more you're in your ego, the harder it's going to be for you. And again, people will use their egotistical, you know, cherry picking criticisms and, you know, little things out of people's lives to use that as a weapon against them. I have that out there. There's all kind of hate out there. People are like so against what I'm doing here. But, you know, I just got to keep, keep going here because I have 
a job to do and I have a purpose and this is it. So where can we start being a little more discerning? We're not allowing the toxicity into our world anymore and we're getting better at recognizing it when it presents itself. So we don't see those people as truth speakers. We start to see the actual features they carry. You know what I'm talking about, most of you out there. The actual features that they carry that starts to come forward and it's all a part of the healing. So it's a little weird. It's gonna be a little freaky maybe, but like, like I said, it's a busy time. So um, it's kind of mixed things going on here, but you're gonna be all right. It is the fall of the narcissist. It is the fall of the sociopath. So that's good. It's not gonna happen all in one week, but we're getting there. Okay, what are you with the cards? Look at that. I set them up. I put them right next to me and I doubted myself. I thought they were way over there. <laughs> okay, let's get our cards. All right. Fallout. Fallout leading to completion. So we'll have to see how that plays out. Okay. First card out is Lemurian. I can't talk. Lemurian <laughs> courts practice patience. So again, lots of mixed things happening. We're all waiting for everything to just come back into place and be good. And we can just get on with our lives and what have you. But this is a no. This is a deep, deep soul expansion time. We need to be embracing this. It's not fun. It's not gonna be fun, all right? The stuff of 2020 will probably start equalizing out. I feel like spring of 2021, oh, but then we got a whole next thing to teach us how to grow. So don't whine, <laughs> don't whine. I know, we're all like, we're like oh, man, really, we gotta do, but you know, we will be so much better equipped to handle what could be coming in 2021, okay? And it does feel like we get a little bit of an ease of the stuff we have been dealing with. Make sense? We'll see. Lapis lazuli, intuition, truth speaking. Make a decision. Make a decision. What way do you want to go? Who do you want to be? What team do you want to play for? We're going to get so divided. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of like evil. I know I keep using that word a lot, but... Hang tight. You're going to see evil. You're going to see the evil. What side are you going to be on? And a little hint for you. If you're one of the feeder souls, you're in a low frequency. Guess who is going to be at the back of the pack? Yeah. Careful. So tune into your intuition and don't be doing it from an egotistical standpoint. That's not the point here. Okay. I want to get out of the ego. The ego doesn't have to be bad, but we've made it bad. We misuse it. A lot of healing. We have Malachite. It's time to transform. I'm telling y'all, like utter destruction, things falling down, um, and yet we're at peace with it. Or if you're one of those people who's just always looking for what's wrong in the world and you just want to like lean on what's wrong in the world, you're not going to have a very good time here. All right. Let this be transformation through healing. No longer being in denial about what's going on, but actually doing the work, okay? And soul level, soul level, you know, recovery. So you, know, you don't really need to recover your soul. Your soul is always there, but tapping into that soul light, tapping back into it and saying, oh, that's right. That's who I am. Let me bring that back, <laughs> right? That sort of thing. Let me have this card sticking out. Mm, Pink Opal is all about healing, healing from trauma. We are a traumatized people. Okay, all of us, all of humanity is traumatized. Be kind to yourself. Be kind. It's time to rejuvenate. And please, I, can I say this enough? Please don't come from a selfish standpoint. This is a glorious time to have soul families come together. Um, people who are meant to come together at this place on their timeline. Why? Because you've had similar experiences. And it's time to learn from one another. But yes, definitely Pink Opal is all about healing from that trauma and, uh, you know, letting go of the story around that. So let me get this other deck of cards here. All 
right, let's get one more card from here. It's sticking out right there. Dignity. Check that out. Dahlia Orion. Talk about portals opening. Uh, so this is all about staying in, finding your dignity again because you might have felt very uh, repressed and very held down. And now this isn't, you can't overcorrect, right? People who recover from narcissistically abusive relationships, you know, the one the people I've all spoken to, well, not everybody that I've spoken to, but historically what I've heard people's stories is that when they're coming out of one of those kinds of dynamics, they might start to emulate the narcissist a little bit because they say, it's my turn now. Me first. Now get out of my way. They're processing that anger, right? So we might have lost ourselves along the way. And so we're regaining our strength. We're regaining our power, our dignity. And we're walking in beauty and grace, even though the world around us is not perfect. It never has been. You know, when people say, I want the good old days, you're just playing into a delusion. Nothing was the good old days, right? Like you might have some nice childhood memories or whatever, but it wasn't the good old days for everybody. Remember that. And now we're getting into a place of finding one another again. This has the potential eventually to be like a big family reunion <laughs> with all of humanity. When we let these personalities um, th that have now started to work against us, when that can kind of go away a little bit and we let some of that authentic soul self come on out, we find each other again. We find ourselves and we connect. Okay, it's a big time of coming home. Now, we still have a lot to contend with out in the world. It doesn't mean that the world is going to be perfect. It drives me nuts when people say, look at the world. How could you say we're okay? You are completely throwing your energy outside of yourself and letting the world outside of you dictate how you function. You don't see a problem with that? I hope you do learn to see a problem with that because that's what we're trying to correct right now. Times can be good, even when it looks bad out there. Because this shakeup is going to stop the evil. And we'll get to find ourselves again and find each other. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.